Okay, Dr. Christina, are you ready? Okay, hi. Well, yes, I'm ready. Okay, your time starts now. Hi, I'm Dr. Christina here. I'm a doctor in this uh in this cardiology uh clinic. Can I just confirm, are you Mr. Moaz, 25 years old? Uh yes, doctor. Okay. Uh hi, Mr. Moaz. Nice to meet you today. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you want anybody to be with you uh, during our discussion? Uh, no, doctor, it's okay. Okay. All right. So uh, we are here today uh, to discuss with you about your current uh, health condition. Hmm. Is it okay? Yes, doctor. Okay. All right. So um, before I explain further can i just can, can i just have uh can i just check a little bit of your understanding about what has happened and why uh you are here today uh actually doctor i am quite fine and totally normal and uh, mm -hmm. no no problem going on but there is a problem that unfortunately we have lost our brother recently and uh, he was also fine like me and uh, suddenly uh, he got this um, uh, all of the people said that it is some kind of heart attack and uh, mm -hmm. uh, even we performed the post-mortem examination and it mm -hmm. showed that he was suffering from some heart condition. And the mm -hmm. GP was saying that uh, we, uh, all siblings, also have this risk of having this condition. So that's why he referred us to you that uh, we can discuss that whether I am suffering from this condition or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I am so sorry for your loss, uh, Mr. Muaz. Um, and yes, <clears throat> that's why you are here today. Uh, we have done some uh tests on you, some hot tests on you, and um, it is normal. So we check the rhythm of your heart. Okay, uh, what we call as ECG. All right, the test that we used to um to check on the heart rhythm and it turned out to be normal for you okay and uh we plan to um we planned for a heart scan for you in two weeks time okay hmm. but um i but um because your uh your brother uh, died because of that heart condition that's why today uh, i will explain further about the heart condition that mm -hmm. you might be suffering or uh, we want to screen you uh, for the heart condition is it okay uh yes doctor all right so your your brother has uh, your brother was suffering uh, for a heart condition what we call as hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy you don't have to bother about the medical term. It is actually a condition whereby there is a abnormal, uh, whereby there is a part of your heart is thickened, which is mm -hmm. the heart muscle of heart muscle is thickened. Okay, mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. it is uh the cause of the disease is, uh usually is inherited, so it can be passed on from one generation to another generation that's why um you that's why we need to screen uh the family members who uh, has this condition early mm. so that we can we can start off uh with uh any intervention and mm. precaution to make sure that we can prevent the sudden heart death okay and uh usually uh Usually, uh, most of the patient uh, who has this condition, uh, usually they don't have any symptoms. They are like a normal mm -hmm. person, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, but there are few symptoms that you that you need to aware of, like uh, you can have this uh racing and pacing of your heartbeat, and you can have a dizziness, uh, especially when you are doing a strenuous uh, activity, all right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And to some extent, it can cause a sudden fainting and uh, yes, and eventually can cause death, right? And uh, the most, imp so uh, so far, uh, is it, so far, are you okay uh, so far, Mr. Muaz? Uh, yes, doctor. I want to ask that what are the chances that I can get this disease? Uh, 
okay. All right. Uh, usually the disease uh can be passed on uh from your parents. Uh, it's like a fifty percent uh of fifty percent of chance. Okay. Mm. So uh, so it is very high risk <clears throat> this condition, okay. And um, another one thing is that uh, the complication of the disease uh, it is very uh, worrisome, okay. It can cause uh, the abnormal rhythm of your heart, okay, and uh, it can cause sudden death as well. All right. So uh, what we are going to do now. For you, since you, your brother has this condition, is that we will do uh, a part of the checking the heart rhythm, your heart rhythm. We will do a regular screening of your heart, uh, of your heart, uh, regular screening uh, of uh, uh, of your heart. Okay, by doing some scan of your heart, looking at uh, the thickness, the structure of your heart. Is is there any abnormality? Okay, and also, um, and also, if you do have, uh, if you do have this uh abnormality, I mean, you do have this, uh, problem yet you don't have uh the symptom yet, uh, we will start you on some medication, and also, uh, we we will, we will um insert you a device. All right, a special heart device what we call as um, implantable cardiac device, all right? You don't have to worry about the term, okay? It's basically a device that can um, detect any abnormal rhythm, okay? And it can actually correct back the rhythm, okay? So that you won't, uh, the rhythm won't continue to progress and cause um, your heart to stop beating. Okay. All okay, right. Doctor, I, you that, were... <laughs> I hope that I don't give you a lot of informations. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Doctor, uh, you were uh, telling uh, you were telling about the uh, test which you planned for me two weeks after, right? Mm -mm. So, is there any other test available? I mean, which can detect it immediately? That uh, I just want to know that whether I am suffering from it or not, because two weeks is a quite long time. And I can't wait. Mm, okay. All right. Uh, usually, uh, there's a one test, okay, uh, what we call as um, halter. All right. This, uh, this test is uh, basically will record your heart rhythm for at least 24 hours. Okay. But um, I mean, I will need to discuss with my consultant about this if you were to proceed, all right. But there are some precaution I need to explain to you, Mister Moaz. Hmm. Okay. Two minutes are left. So at the moment, at the moment, I would suggest you to avoid any uh strenuous activity, hmm. all right, and also um. Uh, if you do started to have any uh racing and pacing of your heart beats. Please do come to us as soon as possible, or even any uh, chest pain, you know, uh, chest discomfort, and so on. And another one thing is that uh, I would strongly suggest you to avoid doing any activity alone. All right. Okay. So, uh, and also avoid uh some um uh, um activities like um swimming, you know, some swimming that can cause that uh can actually be uh, hazardous to you if you were to, to develop any of the symptoms uh, during the activity. Okay? okay. All right. So, um, so uh, are you getting me so far, uh, Mr. Moaz? Uh, yes, doctor. I have heard mm -hmm. that there is some blood test available which can detect the conditions which are transmitted in the family. Is it so? Yes, uh, that's a, that's a, yes, uh, that's correct. Uh, I appreciate your knowledge that there is a <coughs> test that we do, uh, which is a genetic testing. Mm. But in this heart condition, uh, the more uh, specific or the more uh, curing tests uh, that we can do to screen for the heart condition is via the heart scan. All right. Okay. So, uh, I would strongly suggest uh to proceed first with the heart scan, 
before we can actually uh, uh, proceed with any uh, blood test like a uh, genetic test testing. Okay. Okay. All right. So, can I know what you what you are what are you working as, uh, Mister Muas? Uh, yes, Doctor. I work as a driver. Driver. Okay. So, um, all right. For the time, time is being, over. Okay. Okay, Doctor Christina. Overall, a good performance. Uh, just a few things. Uh, I mean, no need to go in the details of the treatment. Okay, if uh, mm -hmm, in case, mm -hmm. for example, you you will just tell yes, there are treatment options available. It is a uh, curable condition. It is a treatable condition. Medications as well as surgical treatment. Okay, no need to tell about the ICD devices or something because here oh, okay. uh, the risk of the you have to ask is risk of uh, hookum and whatever concerns he has, and always ask the concerns. Okay, so mm -hmm. that uh, um, for example, there can be multiple concerns in this case, and in case if you don't ask, you uh, it might be a case that there is some kind of actor or so who will not tell unless and until uh, you ask the concerns specifically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, right. Uh, you perform the greeting, you perform the introduction, checking identity, building rapport, setting the agenda, checking the insight, and then explanation of your communication. For example, here, yes, you will say whenever he was telling you that my father passed, uh, my brother passed away uh, recently because of this condition. So you will say, I'm so sorry about uh, this that uh, has happened to your brother. But uh, let me assure you one thing that we are with you uh, in this difficult time. And I can see that this is a stressful condition for you. And uh, then, yes, you explain about the hukum. Even you can draw the heart for the patient that uh, whenever mm -hmm. you are just uh, rough drawing to uh, atria and then the ventricle and in between the ventricle, you can uh, draw that he here actually it is the thickening of the heart muscle which leading to, which leads to decreased contractility of the heart okay dr christina just give me a uh, few seconds and then i will start again Hello. Hello. Okay, Dr. Christina, so sorry. Uh, uh, okay. I was telling about the, uh, that you will draw. Uh, you can draw for the patient mm -hmm. when you are uh, telling him that what is the hukum. And uh, mm -hmm. ultimately, it leads to decreased contractility of the heart or in decreased pumping of the heart. And yes, you told uh, very well that some patients cannot, uh, I mean, uh, some patients may not develop any symptoms at all, and some people can develop chest pain and racing and pacing of heart and dizziness and shortness of breath, and it is a treatable condition. It can be managed with medications as well as there are surgical treatment options available. So in this way, you will uh, uh, tell him about all the, I mean, first you are uh, telling the diagnosis, then the explanation of the diagnosis in layman terminology, its pathophysiology, etiology, clinical features, and then its complications, and uh, whether it is treatable or not and the complication most common complication is in the form of death sudden death which unfortunately has happened in his brother's case and uh, yes you told about uh, the chances of transmission it is 50 percent chance one out of two uh, but we are not sure at this moment whether he is suffering from this condition or not and we will uh, unless and until we perform the test on him and when he is mm. saying that uh, I want this blood test as soon as possible so that I'm desperate to know in case sometimes uh, the surrogate can say that uh, um, uh, what will happen if uh, I die in these two weeks while waiting for the uh, test. So, okay. uh, uh, I mean, any other uh, such thing that whenever there is a delay in investigation, those scenarios are also very common. So you can mm -hmm. answer this concern that I am so sorry that uh, if you are feeling like this and um, then again the reassurance and uh, we will not leave you alone. I apologize for a somewhat delay which has happened. But uh, here you can say one more sentence that as a medical team, we always try to do our best. But sometimes our best is not enough. And I will speak to the imaging team department. And if a slot becomes available, we can contact you. And uh, we will try our best to do it as soon as possible. Uh, this uh, echo or the jelly scan of the heart. Okay. And uh, regarding the ECG work you were explaining, you can use the term electrical tracing of the heart. Okay. Oh, electrical electrical tracing, tracing of the heart or ECG. 
once you mm. have explained then you can use this it is a good thing that uh, your electrical racing of the heart that is the ecg has come out to be normal and what happens in the uh, here since it, uh, the risk uh, you want to uh, tell uh, to the surrogate you will tell in the form of uh, ecg has come out normal okay no need to perform again echo we have to perform and the genetic testing so your main uh, task is regarding this so when uh, Uh, we will perform the jelly scan of the heart and in case this thing you need to tell to the uh, patient that in case mm-hmm. if it comes out to be abnormal or there is suspicion that you are suffering um, from this condition then mm-hmm. we will perform another scan because this uh, jelly scan is operator dependent so first abnormal finding will be reconfirmed and uh, uh, then we can say that uh, you can so su- you are suffering from this condition and in case if the first jelly scan come out to be normal then uh, i mean there is no abnormality again there will be the repeated scan and in case if that come out uh, to be normal as well then either he uh, will be uh, assured that he is not suffering from this disease and he can go home and enjoy his life or the doctor will decide that whether he needs some other blood test or not that is the genetic testing which he was asking uh, specifically but this genetic testing is uh, actually performed in those cases in which there is strong suspicion of hokum in the family or the patient has certain sign or symptoms like chest pain or dizziness or something like that or the patient is at high risk for example uh, he is a pilot or he is a surgeon or he is a uh, swimmer player or athlete in those cases this genetic testing is performed beforehand as well otherwise hokum mm. is basically the main thing which is a uh, desired uh, which will give the decision that he is uh, suffering from this condition or not and regarding the safe genetic yes you perform perfectly a uh, vigorous exercises swimming and no activity alone for example in case if he is swimming there should be someone close to him otherwise avoid swimming and regarding the smoking alcohol job and uh, driving and leaflets and brochures yeah, as for the, uh, being a driver since uh, we haven't done an eco for him hmm. Uh, hmm. so do i have to actually counsel him not to drive until we um we perform the well, echocardiogram hmm, it is a controversial answer now here because this patient has no symptoms and just mm-hmm. on suspicion there is no guideline to just on suspicion we can avoid uh, this because any one of us can suffer from many other conditions still uh, unless and until there is no symptom i don't think so that here driving restriction will be set mm-hmm. okay all right Hmm. Um, that you mentioned hmm. that the genetic testing, uh, can uh, we can proceed with genetic testing if there is a strong suspicion in the f- very strong suspicion in the family and with a yes. high risk, uh, job. For example, in this case, yes, post mortem has uh, shown that his brother has become so there is a strong suspicion. But first, we will do echo in case echo come out to be normal, uh, and there is a strong suspicion like in this case, then we can go for genetic testing. But all that decision will be given after. this multidisciplinary team meeting and the cardiologist and all that consultants mm-hmm. okay all right i just okay. thank you oh, so mo- much welcome okay moving towards the i think last scenario 